ClickUp dashboards help you better visualize your team's productivity. You can use ClickUp dashboards to quickly see and measure things like your team progress, timelines, bottlenecks, and project performance. So let's dive in and take a look at ClickUp dashboards. Hi there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com, and we help companies like yours get running and automated with portals, apps, and integrations. Now, ClickUp offers multiple views in order for you to look at your data, projects, and tasks, one of which is the dashboard view or dashboard feature. Let's take a look at it. Rather than diving into your ClickUp workspace and looking for updates on specific projects and tasks, Dashboards gives you a better view of what's going on and what your team is currently working on. Now, creating a dashboard is as simple as adding a new view to your space. And straight away, you get a visual view of the progress of this current space, growth. We're able to see what tasks are in progress, completed, unassigned, overdue, what each member's workload is like, and more. You can access all of your dashboards from the left side panel of your workspace, but if you can't see this option available, just select more and then you can pin it to the side panel. In this video, I'll show you how to use dashboards to get a clearer understanding and deeper view of your business's workflows. First, let's look at using the ClickUp dashboard templates. You want to create a dashboard for each space in your workspace. Here in this simple example, we have an operations, growth, sales, and product space. In your space, navigate up to the view navigation and select to add a new view, then select dashboard. Now, if you're on a free plan, you might only have access to the simple dashboard template, but not to worry because you can still customize this simple dashboard through dashboard cards, which are referred to as widgets in other platforms. We'll look at cards later and just create a simple dashboard. What data do you want to visualize? We can pull data in from our spaces, our folders, and our lists and include multiple sources, which is a must have feature for cross-functional teams. The growth team probably won't want to dive too deep into the product and dev space, but they still need to see feature releases, UI updates and more because they need to prepare campaigns, copy, etc. But for this example, let's just look at using one space for now. It'll be an overview of the growth space. It will by default generate the same view you can see here, which gives us a quick view of how this space's projects and tasks are currently tracking, some updates on particular tasks and some charts and graphs. Now, each one of these blocks or insights are referred to as cards or widgets in other platforms. The cool thing is that you have control over not only the data you see through these cards, but the card itself and how it appears on the board or dashboard. I'm a huge fan of customization, so I love that I can resize and use a drag and drop interface to make this dashboard look the way that I want. To resize a card, just simply hover over the card until you see this icon appear. Then it's a simple drag and stop. I'll just do these other two cards nicely. Then you can select the domino icon in the top left of a card to drag and drop and change its positioning, putting it where you think works Best, to delete a card, select the icon in the top right of your card, those three dots, and you can also duplicate it from here. To edit a card, select the gear icon. Then you can change the name of the card, as well as the data source location, which can be the space folder or list. And yes, multiple sources are available. Now we have a card for all tasks, which includes subtasks as well. And I'll edit this card to create a task for parent tasks. So to reiterate, a dashboard is a view of your workspace's data. And a card is a way that you can format and view that data. So let's look at what cards we can actually add to a dashboard. However, I won't go in depth on the cards available because there's a lot. Instead, just let me know in the comments below if you want me to create a video specifically looking at the dashboard cards. So select add card in the top right corner of your dashboard and you can see that vast number of cards available, right? I wasn't lying. ClickUp have categorized their cards on the left here. We've got featured, custom, sprints, statuses, and more. The featured cards are those that are most commonly used by businesses. And in the simple dashboard template, if we click out, ClickUp have included a text block here to introduce the dashboard, status cards here, 
number of tasks in project, in progress, completed, etc. cetera. Uh, custom cards that visualize your data and tasks in graphs and charts, super handy. An activity card, which is a great way to see what is happening, not just at the task completion level, but in more depth. And tables, which basically show views of your tasks without you needing to dive deeper into a space and the views. A dashboard, if created, will always be visible up here in the view navigation. Personally, I like to pin my dashboard so that it moves to the front of my views or even right-click it and set as the default view so that when I navigate to a space, rather than seeing the overview, I'm shown the dashboard. Now, before we create a custom dashboard, let's look at the other templates available. Staying in growth, let's create a team reporting dashboard. We'll just use the growth space data. Now, I'll admit that it is a similar view to the simple dashboard template. However, it gives a much higher level view of your team's progress and blockers. It's a great view for those who are managing teams and wanting to understand how your team is collaborating, what your team is collaborating on, who is involved, and what the blockers are or what the roadblocks are. It even provides insight into who isn't checking their ClickUp inbox. I suggest using the templates as a way to get a head start on building out your custom dashboards. Every business, person, team, project is unique. You're going to want to view things that others might not. So while templates are a great place to start, make sure you dive into cards and see what's possible. Then build out a dashboard that works for you and your team. But let's check out the other templates available. Then we'll look at building our own custom dashboard. Let's navigate over to product and create a new dashboard view. This time, time tracking. As it's relative to time, you're asked to select the time frame. So we'll just stick with this month. But once we dive in, we can easily change the time view for each individual card just here. Now, here ClickUp provides help docs to assist you in best setting up these template dashboards. Good on them. And that actually reminds me of something I want to mention is that Yes, dashboards are a great way to better visualize your data and tasks, but they can also help you get your work done faster. Let me explain. You can use a text block to include bookmarks of your docs and wikis, processes, whatever. Bookmark that doc or link that you access daily so it's there, ready and available. And when you start your workday, you jump into your space for your tasks, your team's progress, get into that right headspace. Then you just quickly access the materials you need to get your work done. Or perhaps your team has done due diligence and included docs for you to review directly in the dashboard. Currently on your home page, which we'll navigate to, it allows you to include some cards, not all cards that are available in dashboards, but some. And you can use ClickUp Brain to generate a daily standup of your tasks. But let's continue looking at the templates some more. It's a view of your time metrics, basically. A great way to use ClickUp dashboards is to track where time is spent on both a space and workspace level. Here, we've created a dashboard that gives us a view of how long things take in the growth space. But if you navigate to the Dashboards tab and create a dashboard for the entire workspace using all spaces rather than space level, you can access this monthly to generate a report on where your business is spending time. This can inform you of where too much time is spent and where you're able to allocate extra time. Then use this export function to download a PDF of your report and share it with your colleagues. You can take this even further and set up your ClickUp in order to work as your time tracking and time sheet software. Your team can track the hours they work and you can make sure they get paid with less manual work. Of course, your workspace needs to be set up correctly in order for this to work. This means using this time estimate and time tracking field that are available on your tasks. When you start a task, hit that time tracker. When you're complete, done. This will continue running until you've hit stop, so note that. Now, if you don't see these available, it means you need to navigate up to the top right corner of your ClickUp and select the Click Apps icon here, then turn on time tracking. ClickUps basically allow you to apply advanced functionality to your ClickUp workspace, but are initially disabled to not make your dashboard busy and overcomplicated. So I'll make sure to leave helpful docs on ClickApps in the description of this video, but let's continue. Navigating back to dashboards, 
I should note that in the dashboard tab where you can view all of your dashboards, you can also rename, set them as favorites and share a link to your dashboard. We still have some other templates to cover. Remaining in product, let's create a new dashboard view and select the product dashboard. I like the simplistic insight of this template and the tasks at hand. It's visual, it's not overcomplicated, it works. Now I know each team member's workload, progress, and get an overview of the tasks. A really cool feature of the charts and graphs is that they're interactive. Here, I have three open tasks. If I select this, it opens a view of those exact tasks and I can even view my subtasks within then dive in and start my work. Let's head to the sales space and look at the final dashboard template, the client portal. So we'll create a new view, dashboard, client portal, select your space. Now, perhaps you have a sales space and multiple folders in your space. One that tracks the tasks for your sales team and one that is a CRM that basically just looks after your client details. Make sure you pick the right one because this is going to generate a front-facing client portal that you can then share with your clients. They can see what's going on. They can view the status of tasks, what's up next, and you can even have discussions on the tasks at hand and give them a more visual view of their project. What you cannot do is create a public-facing dashboard. You must actually invite your client up here by selecting share in order for them to view the dashboard and then you'll need to include the emails of the guests you want to view. Now that we've looked at the templates available, let's take a look at building our own custom dashboard. Now I want to build a dashboard that I view daily. In it, I'll need to view my tasks at hand, any issues encountered and activity of the tasks that I mentioned or related to. Now I'd also like to include some bookmarks on resources that I'll be accessing when I'm doing my work. So I'll create this in the dashboard hub or the dashboard tab. And I choose to begin this build from scratch so that we can look at setting up cards together. First, I'll include a task list card and pull in all the spaces to make sure I'm not missing any tasks because I do work across different departments. Then we're gonna leave include archived, now closed, show tasks in multiple lists, now. We can also filter what tasks we actually want to see. So perhaps in this section, we want to see tasks for a specific space or a specific folder or a specific list. That's where you do it. But I'll just add this card. There's not a lot of tasks in my workspace at the moment as it's just an example. So we'll pull through everything that's available. Then I'm just going to resize this bad boy so I can see the option to add tasks. And we'll pull this over here as well. Next, I'm going to actually include a text block. So here we can use the search function and we just select that. And then I'll just include a generic welcome. G'day, Alex. Welcome to your dashboard. Then here we can include links. Like for example, if I was working on my Framer account daily, I could include the bookmark link for that and just quickly access it when I jump into my dashboard. I'm just going to move this text block up to the top and we'll just quickly resize that bad boy task list can actually live alongside if it will fit. No, it won't. We'll pop that there. Next, let's add an activity card so I can see what activity is occurring on tasks that I mentioned in. So I'll select add card. And again, we can use the search function. Activity. Worked on activity view, create activity view. I want to see what people have worked on in relation to me. So here we've got worked on. Again, for the location or the data source, I'm going to go select all. And then I'm going to leave the filter there. I'll include archived. I'll include tasks in multiple lists. I will include subtasks as well. And I actually want to show the parent name. So I know which parent task is involved. And we'll add that card too. Then what I'm most likely going to do is bring this guy up here let me just make him a bit smaller and then we'll pull him up get him all nice and snug in there and there's not a lot to show so we'll just move that back over and we'll put it there so we have the entire view then through this task list we can actually filter 
So it is only me who's viewing this. And then we can see my tasks. Something else that we should include in our dashboard is a bookmark card so that we can easily access our resources, help docs, SOPs. Let me grab my Google Drive link. I'll leave a description. We'll add the bookmark. And then I have a resource that's easily accessible when I jump into my work. Let's take a look at other cards we could include. We've got time tracking priorities, assignees, tags, tables, embeds, and apps. Now, again, I'll make sure to leave a helpful doc on both ClickUp dashboards and ClickUp cards in the description of this video. If you need help setting up a work management tool or automating parts of your business, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com. We're offering a free 30-minute consultation, so book yours today.